Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Nick. If you are new to the channel, my wife Anna and I, we do digital nomad traveling. Uh, this week we are in, we're still in Cape Town and I wanted to wrap things up before a much needed break uh, for when we go to Johannesburg. Uh, this week we're going to be featuring a few different things that we couldn't dedicate a full video to but still wanted to share our experiences and as always we appreciate you being here with us and if you stick around to the end of the video uh, we'll share with you our next destination and our adventure. So let's check it out. This week we decided to visit the beach. Now in Cape Town there are tons of beaches that you can choose from. Uh, the main one I think being Camps Bay, which if you are here you should definitely check out if you're here for a short amount of time. Um, if you're here for a little bit longer and you want to go to a more secluded beach like us, um, I would personally recommend uh, Lulindulo. Wait, it's it's uh, Le, Lendudno Beach. Um, again, we went to this. It was a little bit more secluded, a little bit further away from the city center. It's about 25 minutes. Um, the best part of this beach was that there were virtually no crowds when we went. Compared to Camps Bay with its crowds and very, very limited parking, uh, this is exactly what we were looking for. We're doing a little beach day. It's gonna be just a lazy day of us walking the beach, flying around, checking out the scenery. I know how you like the sand and the beach. What are your thoughts uh, here? <laughs> we'll come back. Me, on the other hand, I refuse to take my shoes off. No way. Tootsies contained. So we bought this like little tent to keep us. Uh, cool and in the shade, and it's sort of acting like a greenhouse. <laughs> She's all me. Uh, okay, I have shade at least, but now I'm keeping the majority of my body out. I think umbrellas are better because you just get more. Yeah. But that's what, that's what you get. Trade offs. We really enjoyed ourselves here, and we actually came back a few different times during our stay. Um, so if you're really into beaches and relaxing by the water, then Lendudno, Lendudno, Lendudno Beach is where you should go. I personally think, so this next thing that we, we did, I think it was one of the coolest things that we did while we were staying in Cape Town. Uh, we went on a safari to see the big five game animals. The big five game animals, if you're not familiar, are uh, lions, leopards, rhino, water buffalo, and elephants. Um, we were able to see four out of the five, which was really great. I think the leopards just like were sleeping or not there that day. Uh, we went to this place called Aquila Game Reserve, which was about two hours outside of Cape Town. Apparently you could stay there on the resort as well, but we opted to just get a ride there and get a ride back. It's two hours away, so it is sort of an all-day activity. Make sure you plan that into your trip if you decide to, to go on a safari. Babe, you're looking super stylish. <laughs> Ready for safari. <laughs> Are you cooking? I'm roasted. It's very hot out. I think it's like 100 degrees. It's like a piece of bacon.
this is a unique experience for both Anna and I. She got to see her favorite animals, the elephants. Um, for me, the best part was being driven around in the all-terrain vehicle and really feeling like you were on safari to like look for these animals. I thought it was a lot of fun. Definitely something you want to do with family um, if you're here, um, but make sure you plan for an all-day adventure type of deal. Now there are two main mountains in Cape Town, Table Mountain and Lion's Head, both of which you could see from our Airbnb window. Um, there's a cable car that actually takes you to the top of Table Mountain, or you can hike it. Uh, we opted for the cable car since we would be hiking Lion's Head and didn't want to exhaust ourselves. Plus, Anna is a little afraid of heights. The cable car to the top really only cost us about 400 Rand a piece to get up and come back down, which wasn't terrible. I think uh, there's way more expensive things that you can be doing in Cape Town, but um, this, this wasn't too bad. I think you reserve your time you show up, it's like a reservation system. They've got like even a cut the or skip the skip the queue option as well. We decided to take the cable car up to the top of Table Mountain today on the absolute foggiest day of our stay. Excellent views, lots of gray. But this area up top is really nice too. Once you're at the top, you can see the entire Camps Bay area. There's also like a walking circle up top to see all of the unique plant life that's up there, which is really cool. And if the weather doesn't cooperate with you, like when we were there, there's also a cafe you can go into for some quick snacks. The cable car up Table Mountain was great, but I wanted to climb mountains. Uh, the next morning we woke up early and went up Lion's Head, a mountain with a guide. Anna was not really having it. Like I said, she's a little afraid of heights. If you've seen on our Instagram, we've posted a few different things on there about um, her sort of conquering her fears. Her fears on this one almost got the best of her. There's a couple of moments where she turned to me and was like, I'm freaking out. Luckily we had our guide and we were able to sort of get to the top and make it to see the sunrise uh, up there as well. In play, the the onto the fence. Take a hair because I can see you guys yep. quite fit, so just make sure your footing is correct. If you get stuck in your way, just wait. Yeah. Otherwise, the you guys are going to be following behind. All right. If you want to keep up with them. There we go. Something about seeing the sunrise from the top of a mountain that you just spent a couple hours climbing, it really Honestly, it makes you feel different. Um, it, it like changes the way that you think about accomplishing things, and I, I can't really explain the way that you feel when you're at the top of these things. I would just highly recommend doing it yourself. But um, I always forget when I uh, since since I, I had an accident a couple years ago and I was not able to climb. I always forget that feeling of when you get to the top um, and just a feeling like you accomplished something physically exhausting. Um, it was really, really great. I wish I could like bottle that feeling up. How you feeling? Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Yeah. You got it. We're halfway done. We just gotta go down. Down is easier. It is easier. So that does it for our Cape Town adventure. We're off to Johannesburg where we'll take a brief break from our long form videos. Still be posting on Instagram daily, so make sure you follow us there. Still be posting on YouTube shorts. 
Um, but after our time in Johannesburg, we're actually going to be heading back up to Europe, starting in Serbia, where we'll be for a few weeks. Start the long form content back in Serbia. Can't wait to share more experiences and tips with y'all. If you like this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And was there something that I missed or something that you wanted to see? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in and stay adventurous. Are you ready for this day? <laughs> it's like the Taylor Swift song. Hi, Bitty. I know <laughs> what that is. Oh, battery's dying. Nick and I are about to go get some pizza. Very excited. This place is super good. Makes me feel like I'm back home in Chicago. What's the name of it? I don't know. What's the it? bitch's tits. <laughs> is it? I hope we can demonetize for that. Um. The yeah. And then the back to our regular schedule. I don't know English. Back to our regular, regularly scheduled program. I can't speak English. Nick, where are we going again? What's this restaurant called? It's called the Bitchy's Tits. Mm -hmm. And the hamburger place too. It's next door. It's called the Dog's Bollocks. So, as Nick would say, let's go. One more time for the camera. Let's go. Let's go. That's sour cream. I know. This is still gonna be good. Hot. It's hot, but it's good. Okay, you have to be careful. You're wearing white. I know. This is really good. I don't, every single time we come here, it's really good. So we got the juicy chip. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Is there anything better than pizza? No. Like, you know, it's like a real question. No. I genuinely think pizza is my favorite thing in the entire world. I mean, I think your eyeballs say enough. Okay. Right. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I love pizza. I love it. Let me see them papers. <laughs> 